Good morning from Gaya Bonsai here in southwest Cornwall. Today's the 4th of April. It's quite a bright day but it's quite windy and cold. So this is just a little quick update. As you can see everything is starting to leaf out quite well. That's one of the dawn redwoods. The pines, the candles are starting to extend. So I'll have to do some work on those as they grow a bit longer and decide which candles to keep and which to break off for branching structure. There's the ornus that's leafed out quite nicely. Another Dawn Redwood. Uh, the Zelkova. That's starting to leaf out quite well. It's also got quite a few little back buddings from the branches so I'll take that inside and clean some of those off so I don't get too much growth to uh, have to remove later. Tried at Maples doing okay, another Dawn Redwood. This is a little seedling section, well I'll say seedling, they're two year old coming into their second year now so the Maples are out nicely. There's some more Zelkovas, some more nice Maples, these are about 12 inches high roughly at the moment and I've also got some larches and some of the uh, golden larches so they're all starting to grow now There's some more maples at the back maples in the boxes are doing quite well although growth is fairly slow at the moment but some are starting to that's starting to put its second third set of leaves on that one that's a uh, Canadian maple that one so I shall leave these to grow on for a while before potting them up that looks like a nice little dissectum coming that one so that's good nice range of colours, lots of nice reds and purpley reds. This is the big maple I did the trunk chop on as you can see it's got it's budding back there from the trunk as well and this branch looks like it's going to grow quite vigorously so in time I might be able to use this one as a new leader and reduce this one and this one as well as that's quite a small branch that one. These were from seed that germinated probably around Christmas to the new year so I think these can do with being split up and I shall put them all into these seven centimeter square pots where they should be quite happy growing on for quite a few months I would imagine. <coughs> so I've got quite a few Mountain ashes, they're growing quite well. I've got several in a pot on some of these, several in that one, so I'll split those up. I've got a couple of beeches, so I'll pot those up and trim the roots slightly. Then we've got some oaks here, which are sort of semi evergreen oaks. That's a common oak. That's a cherry, that's Prunus serrata, but whether that's going to flower later, I've no idea, but it will take several years. And then we've got these, which I'm not quite sure what they are. They were quite a large tree. We collected some seeds from those. They were quite large seeds, and quite a few of those germinated, so since there's three in a pot I'll split those up and do individual pots as well so that's today's task all right here's the two beech seedlings as you can see quite a bit of root on those nice root tips so what I'm going to do with these is because they'll be for potential bonsai is I'll just cut the roots off there 
and that will encourage lots of fibrous roots to grow instead of the longer roots so I've got my seven centimeter square pot standard bonsai mixture and we'll just whoops that's collapsed <laughs> and we'll just pop you can see the root structure it's quite nice that one so let's make a nice hole in there Backfill it, firm it in, give it a tap, and that's ready to be watered in. That's another beach seedling. As you can see, it's got a lot of root under there, nice white tips on the end. So I'll do the same with that one. Just cut the longer roots off like so. This one's going to collapse as well. I'm going to try and pop him into a seven centimetre pot. Press him in firmly. Give the pot a tap. And I'll give that a thorough watering in. <clears throat> then what I'll do is these are still quite a bit tender as they've been going in the plastic box. I've got another plastic box, so I'll pop them in there for a week or two, but I'll leave the lid off so they'll get acclimatized and then they'll be ready to go outside full time. And hopefully the weather should be improving soon. Here's some mountain ash, sorbus. Let's pop the pots in the sink to wash them up. I usually tidy everything as I go, so I haven't got loads of messy stuff and basically what I'll do with these is just divide them up one more there and one more on that side tease those apart we've got four little seedlings there some pots let's have a look at the roots without destroying it I think I'll leave that because they don't tend to make too longer tap roots backfill it firm it in and give it a tap that one's grown at quite an angle, so I'll leave that. That might make a nice, interesting curved tr trunk in the future. There we are. That's quite a nice little worm. Plenty of nice roots on there. I'll make a little depression. Pop him in. You can spread the roots radially a little bit while you're repotting them up as well but i try to leave the original soil around the roots so if you look at these under a microscope you'll find that on the end of the main root there's hundreds and hundreds of tiny fine root hairs and it's the root hairs that interact with the soil and pass the nutrients to the tree um, they're called like the root hairs and the fibrous fine feeder roots there's another one that's quite nicely rooted so we'll pop him in carefully spread the roots just a little bit gently backfill around Firm him in. There we are. And that's another one ready to be watered. Let's do the final one. That's got lovely 
white root tips if you can see on that one make an indentation for that one pop it in split the little roots out put it there try and get the um, base of the trunk at the same height as it was originally and give them a good firming in there we are so I'll carry on with the rest of the seasonings and uh, thank you for watching I look forward to making another video for you very shortly take care of yourselves bye bye for now